Today we are at the Port Gamble Forest Heritage Park. If you do not know where the Port Gamble Forest Heritage Park is, I would like you to go on to Google Maps and find out where it is. Then in the Google Classroom comments, I would like you to put how far away this park is from your house in miles and kilometers. Today we are going to be going for a walk with Indy. So, we are here walking on the trail. We only encountered uh, two other people on the trail. As a disclaimer, whenever the people approached, Indy and I pulled over to the side. I held on to her so she would not leave my side. And we let the people pass with a good distance between us. Got to keep that social distance in mind. Also, that's always a consideration even when we are not social distancing because it is imperative that you stay tight to the right even out on trails so that people can pass on the left because that is what we do in society. This video is going to be all voiceovers because I have discovered that when I try to do audio in the field, it does not work because the wind and all kinds of other things interfere. As I was walking along, I kept noticing all of these licorice ferns. And as you know, one of your groups taught me about licorice ferns at Islandwood. And I thought, well, I'm going to take a little taste of it. However, I could not remember what part you're supposed to eat, so I just grabbed off some leaves and I gave it a try. Well, it was disgusting. I ended up spitting it out and I could not get that taste out of my mouth. So I googled what part of a licorice fern you can eat and it turns out you are supposed to chew the root. So then I had to Google whether or not I was going to die from eating licorice fern fronds. And thankfully, I am going to be okay. So, moral of the story. Don't eat anything out in nature unless you are positive you know what it is. Walking out here reminds me of a book I read a while back. I think I mentioned it to you guys about the guy who just up and left and walked out into the middle of the main wilderness and lived there for 27 years, had no contact with anybody for 27 years. And when they found him, uh, they said, I'm going to do some quotes from the book here. It seemed that he could immediately recall anything he had ever seen or read. And according to more than a dozen studies conducted conducted around the world, where he stayed in the natural quiet may have been the ideal setting to encourage maximal brain function. These studies examining the difference between living in a calm place and existing amid commotion all arrived at the same conclusion. Noise and distraction are toxic. I told you about this book when I mentioned that noise is a derivative of the Greek and Latin root nausea, which means sickness, or literally seasickness. Um, in fact, Japanese researchers at Chiba University found that a daily 15-minute walk in the woods caused significant decreases in cortisol, which is a stress hormone, along a modest drop in blood pressure and heart rate. And a Duke biologist working with mice found that two hours of complete silence per day prompted cell development in the hippocampus, the brain region related to the formation of memory. Remember all that stuff that we learned about dendrites and neurons at the beginning of the year? Studies of humans in the United States, Great Britain, Holland, and Canada have shown that after passing time in quiet rural settings, subjects were calmer and more perceptive less depressed and anxious, with improved cognition and a stronger memory. Time amid the silence of nature, in other words, makes you smarter. So think about that when we go back to class, or any class you're in, 
or even in your daily life for that matter. Noise and distraction and chaos are toxic. They do not enable your brain to function at its highest ability. Squirrel! Well, that's going to wind up our walk for today. I hope you enjoyed going along with us. We certainly enjoyed having you. So get out there. Enjoy some quiet time in the outdoors. Seek out nature. Appreciate it. And we will see you next time. Bye!